What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you what spiritual vibrations are and how to raise your vibrations or your frequency in very simple steps which are not explained in other videos. This is stuff which is kind of unusual but it's going to work really really quickly so make sure you watch this whole video. So firstly vibrations are basically energy. We're all made of energy and vibrations. Even if you don't believe in any spiritual stuff like this, uh, we are basically at the quantum level. You can search up quantum mechanics, quantum metaphysics. Everything is an oscillation or a vibration. Every particle you think is solid is actually oscillating or vibrating and in exactly the same way as a tuning fork will through resonance affect the vibration of another tuning fork near it we can affect what we create and what we manifest as reality through our vibrations and the frequency we are holding as a crystalline structure so everything we experience we can either experience resonance or discord so when you have discord it's where your vibration is different to the vibration of something that is near you, whether it's a person or a situation. And in the same way, resonance is where they match. So we've all had this feeling where we meet someone and we just immediately click with them. Everything seems to snap into place and we don't need to get to know each other. We basically already know them and we can just immediately communicate and get along with them. All right, this is known as resonance. This is when the vibrations are very similar or the same. Equally, we've all had that experience of discord where we meet someone or we walk into a room and we just know something's not right. We get a weird feeling or a weird vibe, right? There's a reason that's a quite a a popular term is because vibrations that is literally what we are feeling we walk into the room the vibrations are in a mismatch we have discord because we're vibrating up here and let's say the room or the situation the people in the room is down here maybe they were gossiping maybe they were talking about you <laughs> maybe they were just there's an argument going on whatever whatever is bringing the vibrations down and i'll get onto high and low vibrations in a minute we can sense that, we can detect that, especially if your intuition is open, your third eye is open, and you, and I'll get onto all of that in a minute. Uh, you can detect that just by walking into a room, just by walking past someone, you can collect information about their vibrations. So just in the same way that everything has a vibration, a frequency, even thoughts and feelings have a vibration. So even if you, let's say if you are feeling happy and someone else next is feeling neutral, when you walk past each other, that has an interaction. So your feeling of being happy will affect their feeling, even just a small amount, there is resonance there. So through resonance, your vibration will affect the vibration of people around you in the same way their vibration will affect yours. This is one of the reasons why, even in business circles, right, even in personal development business circles where they don't care about spirituality, okay, everyone can agree on, if you spend your time with five unsuccessful people, it will be very difficult for you to be successful because we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. That's not just a random wives tale, that's because we literally resonate and change our vibrations and reality based on what we spend our time around because of resonance. If we're around five people who are always negative, always gossiping, always arguing, we will become the sixth one. In exactly the same way, if we're around five really successful, positive, high vibration people, we will become the sixth one. That's why it's so important to surround yourself with positive, high frequency people all the time. <laughs> but that's for another video. Let's just get back to this. So how can you raise or change your frequency and vibrations? How can you raise them up? Well, firstly, let me just explain that vibrations are not equal, okay? You have high vibrations and low vibrations. Low vibrations are things like anger, sadness, jealousy, self-doubt, limiting beliefs. These are kind of negative, low vibrations. Also, fear. Fear is a really big one, by the way. Fear is the one of the lowest vibrations you can be in, and doubting, like I said. High vibrations is things like love, gratitude, sympathy, confidence, empathy. These are kind of like the high vibration, especially gratitude and unconditional love. They are the highest you can be. So when your default mode, let's say in a, in an, on an average day, if your default mode is up here, you're going to create and manifest a reality that is up here. Whether that's, you know, abundance in finance, abundance in love, relationships, friendships, experiences, luck, right? It's not really luck, it's just how you manifest reality. Uh, you will experience an abundance because your default frequency and vibration is positive and high. In the same way, if you have a low vibration or a low frequency, and by the way, you can change and you can decide where your frequency is. You are deciding it now, you just don't know it. So if you have decided to have a low frequency by engaging in gossip, watching negative fear-based news, media, you know, by doubting yourself, by not working on your goals, uh, you will manifest a low vibration reality full of fear, lack, you know, maybe you'll be struggling financially, maybe you won't have good relationships, healthy friendships, because you literally manifest that. Now, this might sound scary, especially if you've realized that, hold on a second, I might be low vibration, that's fine, because the beauty of this is you can change your vibrations very easily if you know how to to do it and that's what this video is about so to measure your vibrations now just ask yourself how do you feel 
How do you feel as your natural default state of being? When you wake up in the morning, how do you feel? When you, you're going through your day, you're having lunch, like, do you feel good? Or do you feel bad, low energy, you know, negative, scared, angry, annoyed or frustrated? If that's your default mode, then you have a low vibration, but you can change that. And this isn't all just spiritual or new age stuff, right? This is not just in the spiritual community, but in science we know as well that we've, they've even developed a scientific way of measuring someone's electric field. So the vibrations can be described as high or low, right? You might be thinking, okay, that sounds a bit weird. So there are different electrical fields associated with high or low vibration and we've found a way to scientifically measure those electric fields. So GDV is a scientific way of measuring the electric signature, okay, or the electric footprint of a person based on their frequency and vibrations. But the good news is it's actually really easy if you know how to do it to raise your vibrations and once you do that, once you raise your frequency, you can experience abundance, happiness, pure unconditional love. Your relationships and friendships will be healthy and perfect and everything will be a lot easier when your vibrations are raised because you're gonna manifest and attract. Have you ever met someone who they just seem to, everything they touch seems to turn to gold? You know, they walk into a room, everyone lights up and smiles, they get opportunities coming in, they never seem to be struggling for money, they always seem to be happy and positive and motivated. They're always doing some new exciting project. They're getting invited to these opportunities. Have you ever wondered why that is? It's because when you have a high frequency, you magnetize the same type of frequency and experiences and people to you. So you need to do less work. Like let's say if you're up here, you're vibrating at a really high level. You're doing your purpose. You're done all of your, uh, the work that you need to do on yourself. It's a big topic. There's a lot you need to do. But let's say if you're up here, you are naturally going to magnetize and attract all of those experiences and people towards you. They will find you and they will seek you out instead of you having to search for them. So it's a different type of, like for example, when you're down here on a low vibration, you think, oh, I need to search for this thing. I need to, when I just get this one possession, I'll be happy. When I just get this one relationship, I'll be happy. If I can just get this one overnight hack, I can make money or whatever the case may be. They want instant results. They want to go out and search for something. Well, when you're vibrating at a high level, you realize it's actually about going inwards and then the things you want will just come to you. The success you want will find you. And all of these things, the money, the relationships, the happiness, the, the purpose, the abundance will find you when your vibration is high. Not to mention you'll feel better, <laughs> like your energy will be through the roof, you'll, be, you'll feel better, you're positive, you'll rarely get jealous, angry, sad, frustrated, depressed. These things just won't be part of your reality. They won't be something you experience that, that often or even at all. So listen, I wanna give you a completely free video training on how to raise your vibrations and frequency. It's probably too long to be, you know, to put on my YouTube channel, but I would love for you to go and check this free training out right now. And uh, I'll explain in detail exactly what you can do to raise your frequency, your vibrations in just a few weeks or even a few days if you, if you take action now. So like I said, free video training, check the link in the description or just click on this video and you'll be able to get instant access to the video training. You don't have to put your email in, don't worry, it's nothing like that. Uh, you can just go to the page and immediately watch the video training there. So hopefully you go and check that out and I'll see you there.